astronaut couples in space, did romance enter the final frontier, NASA has a long-standing, unwritten policy that discourages married couples from both becoming astronauts to prevent emotional attachments from interfering with critical space missions. However, in 1992, Mark and Jane, an American astronaut couple, challenged this norm and ventured into space together. This unusual occurrence captured public attention and led many to wonder about the possibility of personal moments shared within the cramped quarters of their spacecraft. During their seven-day, 22-hour, 30-minute mission, public speculation arose about whether any private interactions might have taken place. Despite the intrigue, NASA and the couple kept details confidential, leaving this question unanswered. Scientists' interest in this subject, however, is more practical than it may seem. Some researchers see understanding intimacy in space as key to exploring human reproduction in extraterrestrial environments. Many science fiction stories envision a future where Earth is no longer habitable, and humans must colonize new planets. For human survival in deep space, scientists argue, reproduction could become essential. Dr. Maria from Concordia University proposed that space agencies and researchers consider an unusual yet crucial survival topic, the implications of relationships and intimacy in space. To prepare for potential interplanetary living, researchers need to understand how the conditions of space, including zero gravity, might affect normal biological processes. The Moscow Biomedical Research Institute once explored this through an experiment in a simulated Mir space module. Eight astronauts, including a single woman among seven men, spent 110 days under observation, which led to mixed, sometimes troubling, behavioral findings. The female astronaut expressed feelings of stress, isolation, and even harassment in this high-pressure, close-quarters environment, underscoring potential psychological and social challenges in space. Life in space differs dramatically from life on Earth. Simple tasks like drinking water require special techniques, as liquids float freely in zero gravity. Over time, zero gravity impacts the body's ability to function, contributing to muscle atrophy and physical weakness. It also reduces hormone levels, potentially affecting reproductive capabilities. As far back as 1977, Soviet scientists launched experiments to study animal reproduction in space, sending male and female mice on an 18-day satellite mission. Though two female mice did become pregnant, the pregnancies were not viable, likely due to hormonal disruptions caused by weightlessness and space radiation exposure. Radiation also poses a considerable challenge for human reproduction. Despite protective spacesuits, astronauts remain vulnerable to radiation effects, which can interfere with reproductive health. Research suggests that, although hormonal disruptions occur in space, returning to Earth usually restores normal reproductive function. For instance, notable female astronauts like Valentina Tereshkova and Svetlana Savitskaya both became mothers shortly after returning from their missions. China's first female astronaut Liu Yang became a mother three years after her space mission, demonstrating that female fertility can remain intact post-space flight, although there is no conclusive evidence of personal interactions between Jane and Mark, the scientific questions surrounding relationships in space are becoming more relevant. If humanity is to settle on Mars or establish space stations on other planets, Understanding the physiological and psychological dimensions of human relationships in space will be essential for the survival and well-being of future spacefaring generations. Thank you for watching the video. I hope the above knowledge will help you in life. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos. Goodbye.